Hi Sagittarius, it's Elle here to be your weekly reading. This will be for the week of April 12th. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Let's get on into it, Sag. some of this energy all right says let's see what's going on for you for the week what is coming towards sad this week all right Ooh. the prince of cups or the knight of cups here very nice sad um so introspection is there on the card so you could be getting some downloads from spirit um kind of delving more into spirituality maybe even meditating more or getting downloads while you're meditating also um i don't know you know maybe you could be getting an offer this talks about maybe someone coming to you with some gentleman like behavior or this is you sag you being the gentleman or the lady like behavior trying to sway somebody seduce not seduce them but more so get them to fall in like or love with you so you're trying to um court them or you or someone's trying to court you sag um someone wants to offer their cup of, of emotions of love or at least um they want you to know it's on the table someone is uh so the knights are the defenders or they go out and you know defend you know their what they're about and this is the knight of cups so this person is trying to maybe take the offense or I don't know, the defense offense in terms of trying to get you to be persuaded emotionally towards them. I don't know if this is somebody trying to get you to fall in love with them again or for the first time or trying to get you to see them. Um, there, there could be an offer here for you. Um, do know that this is still a knight, so they're still in that defense, that attack mode. So they still have the, you know, their defenses up, but they're seeing an opportunity to, um, maybe they're seeing an opportunity for maybe vulnerability down the line to offer their cup. But they want to see if you're interested or vice versa. This is you doing that. What's the advice for Sag here? The eight of disc. All right. So the eight of pentacles, um, dedication. So, um, also, you may have some creative endeavor that you are involved in here. Um, some art, artistics or the arts or whatever it may be. Something where there's a creative flair to it. It says work hard. It looks like you are working very hard. You're very dedicated to creating something. So this is also creation. Um, it says keep at it. Keep your head down. Something about you doing something over and over and over again. You're trying to get something to a level of, of self-sustainability where it can sustain itself where, I don't know, you know, automation or automatic. Maybe you're trying to get to a certain number here uh, in terms of your business or your creative endeavor. You're trying to get uh, 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes, I don't know, or $2,000 or you have a number or you have um, something where you, you, you've been trying it over and over again. Also, in love, you know, the adverse of this is maybe someone's trying to get you or you're trying to get someone to fall back in love with you. But you guys have tried this relationship over and over again. The eights talk about over and over. There's problems here or there has been problems here. It looks like someone's trying to focus on themselves, focus on their own work ethic, what they bring to their own table. Um, someone's so busy with focusing on themselves that they might not even see your offer or this is you Sag um, something also where they're keeping themselves busy because something's been done over and over um, maybe you give them chances over and over again um, not get into a place of sustainability or maybe stability here alright so what's the outcome for Sag here okay the moon card could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces. We'll go as far as to say a Scorpio. Um, I don't know if you guys are just trying to refrain from 
it's, it's somebody who feels in the dark. This is fear. This is fear-based, um, maybe even a fear-based decision or a fear-based, um, yeah, a fear-based decision to stay or choice to stay or to stay in something because of fear, uh, fear of going out and doing something different, uh, going a new way. Um, there's also something unknown here. Uh, maybe you could be lying to yourself about how you feel about someone or vice versa. They're doing this with, with them. Um, therefore, there's a, there's stagnancy. There's also two people who um, are very different, but they're trying to come together in life. Um, but there's there's that friction. Um, the the other makes the other uncomfortable in some aspect. Then the other person makes the other person uncomfortable in some aspect because there's so there's so much difference here. There's also an energy of where somebody's trying to stay away um, to refrain from arguing, but at the same time still watching, still lurking, still inquiring about. Also, there's an energy of learning. Um, Sad, you may be putting yourself in a place of where where your creative endeavor can get better by way of learning more, increasing your knowledge, therefore increasing your confidence. Confidence comes from knowledge. If you know, then you're confident, right? Um, you also could be doing some moon magic. You've done some moon magic. You're waiting for the manifestation of something here. You've done something in the dark or done something to yourself to where it could it could come out in the light. It could come out in the wash, in the sun. Um, so that's what's going on for you this, this week, Sad. Um... If you don't want an air sign, they don't really want to talk right now. Just not right now. Let's see what the advice. Get an advice card here for Sagittarius. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Sag with an advice card. These cards are upside down. Okay. All right. Advice card for Sag. Wow. Windfall. You got the same card as Aquarius. So I don't know if you're trying to bring in money. Good luck. There, if there was fluctuation in your um, finances, it looks like things are going to get better. Um, you could also be bringing in a, um, a good luck in terms of your exercise routine and program, a new exercise program here. Um, you could also, uh, money could be just coming into you. Maybe that's that moon magic work that you've done here. And you're just waiting. You've done something in silence. You've done something in the, you know, for yourself, to yourself. Um, it looks like it's going to manifest uh, very um, apparent and very aware to you and to everyone else too. Um, we'll follow good luck and good money here for you. Sad. If you feel like this reading resonates for you, go over to the website and book your reading there. Or just claim this reading, especially with windfall here. Your creative endeavor is going to get better because it looks like you've been, you're increasing your knowledge base. You've done some work behind the scenes. Looks like it's all shaping up. Um, go to the website, book your reading there. If you have a question or two, you can ask your question uh, by texting the question to the number below. Pay in for your question. Receive the answer to your question all on your mobile device. You can also... Um, uh, donate to the channel if you feel like well if you feel like um, it resonates for you you can let the exchange happen you know take something from the reading give something back any denomination is welcome and I am thankful it goes back into the channel as you see I'm trying to do something different trying to just I don't know um, thank you Sass. take care many blessings